Hello everyone, this is Lata Akula. In this video, we are going to study about the next topic in the living world that is taxonomic categories. So, what are taxonomic categories? You see, uh, we have studied the classification of the living world, what is the taxonomy systematics. Here, the classification of the living organisms, it is not a single step process. It is not an easy process to it involves a number of steps are present that is a hierarchy of steps hierarchy of steps are present and each step is a rank or a category each step will taken as a rank or a category for example if you take a school the school uh, depending upon the position different ranks are given the director is in the topmost place and the next to director, principal will occupy the next rank. And next to the uh, principal, vice principal takes the third rank. And teacher in the next rank. And next to the teachers, ayahs and watchmen, they will be in the last rank. So here, depending upon their position, different ranks are given, right? This is one type of hierarchy. And here, <coughs> here, so, in this each step, it is a rank or a category. And here, what is meant by category? If you see, this is the taxonomic hierarchy. In this, each step is called as taxonomic category. The part of overall taxonomic arrangement. This is the taxonomic arrangement. So, the category is nothing but any part of the part of the taxonomic arrangement. It is called as category. And this category is also called as taxonomic category. Both category and taxonomic category are the same only. And all categories, all these categories together form the taxonomic hierarchy. So all these categories are taxonomic categories. They together form the taxonomic hierarchy. And each category... <coughs> Each category is the unit or the part of the classification. Each category is the part of the classification. And this category, it also represents the rank. Already we have studied that it different ranks. Here, each category that, that represents the rank in a taxonomic hierarchy. In taxonomic hierarchy, different ranks are given. Some are in the topmost rank, some are in the least rank. Here, <clears throat> These categories, they, they also represent the rank in the taxonomic hierarchy. Here, rank, <coughs> taxon, category, all are same only. What is meant by taxon or taxa? Taxa is the plural word. Here, taxon means, it is a level of grouping of <coughs> organisms based on easily absorbable characters. So, whatever the easily absorbable characters are present, based on, by taking those easily absorbable characters, the organisms were grouped. That is called as taxon or taxa. Example, if you take the insects. Insects, there are different types of insects, right? The insects are in different colors, different shapes and different sizes. But, all the insects, they share one common character, that is, they have three pairs of jointed legs it may be a mosquito or it may be a housefly a butterfly or an ant anything so they consist of <coughs> three pairs of jointed legs are present so by taking this easily observable common character all the insects were kept in one category all the insects they have given one rank and kept in one category likewise if we take the birds the birds, almost all the birds have one, uh, some features, like uh, some, they, all of them have the feathers, all of them have the beak, and all the birds have the hollow bones. Of course, they were in different sizes, different colors, and different shapes, but all the birds, they have these three common features. By taking these common features, all the birds are kept in one category. All the birds were kept in one category. That is called as taxon or taxa. And here, each rank or taxon, that is a group of organisms which share same unique features among them. Members of their category. Here, in one category, all the living organisms, they share the similar characters. But those characters, 
characters differ with the living organisms of the another category. Here, one category organisms they express the similar character characters, but those characters will differ with the another category organisms of the another category. So next one is the the definite categories are ranks. And the classification of organisms is are in the taxonomic hierarchy there are seven categories are present what are the seven categories kingdom phylum in the case of animals and the division in the case of plants next one is the class order family genus and species so these are the seven categories present in the taxonomic hierarchy and here higher the category or the rank the lesser the similarity is. So, which was in the highest rank? Kingdom is in the highest rank, and species is in the lowest rank. All these are the categories in the taxonomic hierarchy. Here, highest will, when the rank of the uh, these taxa was increases, the similarities in that category of living organism decreases. If we see from the species to kingdom, that is from the ascending order, from the species to kingdom the number of similarities decreases that means in the species the, the number, number of similarities are more and when compared to the uh, species genus has somewhat less number of similar characters like that from every category the number of similarities decreases and if you see from the kingdom to species in the descending order the number of similar characters increases that means the kingdom has very less number of similar char characters in its category the kingdom kingdom the category kingdom consists of very less number of similar char characters and whereas it, it comes to the species they have the more and more number of similar characters here the taxonomic groups and taxa they were arranged in higher to lower category. The taxa were arranged in which category? Higher to lower category. In this taxonomic hierarchy, what is the basic and lowest category? The species is the basic and lowest category. The species will be the lowest category. Next we will see about all these seven categories one by one. In the taxonomic hierarchy, what is the least rank species right which uh, which shows more similar characters right now we'll see about what is the species the species were a group of population which resembles one another in morphologically and reproductive characters and they were able to interbreed freely and give and they can produce a fertile half springs that is called a species here, the organisms which are morphologically similar and reproductive, uh, reproductively also they were identical and able to interpret with one another and produce fertile half springs that is called as species. For example, if you, if you see the dogs, dogs, all the dogs are one species, cats are another species, tigers another species, like the different species were present. They share the common morphological and reproductive characters and they were able to reproduce with uh, they were they were able to interbreed with one another and able to produce the fertile offsprings that is called as species. And here uh, if you see the examples Solanum tuberism, Canis familiaris, and Panthera Leo. These are the organisms. Here, these are the uh, scientific names. Here, tuberosum. Familiaris and Leo. All these the three are called as species. What these three are called as in the binomial nomenclature we have studied that. In the scientific name, scientific name the first one is the genus and the second one is the species right. Here Chuberosa, Familiaris and the Leo. All these the three are called as species or specific epithet. And here Solana, Canis and Panthera. These three are called as genus. What is the genus? When compared to the species, the next highest rank, uh, when compared to the species, the, what is the next rank, next highest rank, which is the genus only in the taxonomic hierarchy. Okay, and due to some similarities, some morphological features are similar in some organisms, one or more species can be kept in one genus also. For example, if we take Solanum, 
in the salanum tuberosum that is a potato right in the place of tuberosum we have taken out the tuberosum and we have taken the solanum in the place of tuberosum we have placed nigrum and solanum melangelo also placed that means the instead of tuberosum this species we have placed two other species that is a nigrum and melangina here nigrum means black nightshade plant melangina means egg plant brinjal and here the canis this is a canis familiaris dog right we have taken out this familiaris within the same genus we have placed another species like the lupus and aureus same genus canis is only okay lupus means wolf and the aureus means jackal we see the dog wolf and jackal they were looking similar right and next panthera in this panthera genus by removing the leo we have placed tigris and another species that is pardus panthera tigris means tiger and panthera pardus means leopard here all these are also looking similar here what we have done within the same genus we have placed one or more species why we have placed one or more species all the species which represent the different organisms were kept in the same genus right so all the species which represent the different organisms were kept in the same genus due to some similarities so in those organisms because of the some similarities they were kept in the same genus but why we have um, taken another uh, two or more specific if, if that are, are species because they were morphologically features are similar hence they were kept in the same genus but there are several differences also exhibited by them several differences in the color size in the habitat several minute differences are seen that is why they have given a specific different specific epithet for each and every individual each and every organism here lion tiger panthers they were morphologically somewhat different but their color structure and their habitats they were different and even in the canis family as dog wolf jackal they were looking similar but there are some morphological differences also exhibited by them that is why because of the similarities they have kept in the same genus because of the differences the minute differences exhibited by them they have kept in the different specific epithet this is about the species and the next video we are going to study about the genus